Welcome to the Living Periodic Table. Today, we're diving into one of the coolest topics in chemistry, electron orbitals. These orbitals are where electrons live around the nucleus of an atom, but instead of thinking of them like planets orbiting the sun, they're more like clouds or regions where an electron is most likely to be found. First, let's talk about the s orbital. It's the simplest orbital and has a spherical shape. Think of it like a ball around the nucleus. In any given energy level, the s orbital can hold up to two electrons. The first energy level closest to the nucleus has just one s orbital, which means it can hold a maximum of two electrons. Next up, the p orbitals. These start appearing from the second energy level and have a more complex shape, like a figure eight or dumbbell. There are three p orbitals at right angles to each other, which can each hold two electrons. For a total of six electrons in the p orbitals of any energy level, these orbitals are a bit farther from the nucleus, so the electrons in them have more energy. Moving on to d orbitals. These come into play starting at the third energy level and are even more complex, with shapes like clover leaves. There are five d orbitals, and they can hold up to 10 electrons in total. D orbitals are especially important for transition metals and play a big role in their chemical properties. Finally, we have the f orbitals. These orbitals show up at the fourth energy level and are the most complex in shape. There are seven f orbitals, and together they can hold up to 14 electrons. The f orbitals are critical for understanding the chemistry of rare earth elements and actinides. So why do these orbitals matter? The way electrons fill these orbitals, starting with the lowest energy levels first, helps explain an atom's chemical behavior. When atoms bond to form molecules, it's the electrons in the outermost orbitals that interact. Understanding how orbitals work gives us insight into everything. 